Hey, this is Sean Saylor with Meridian Realty, Saylor & Associates, and today in this video we want to discuss the seven key components that you'll need to complete, the seven pieces of paperwork, in order for us to go ahead and get your short sale approved. The first thing really is the authorization letter, and that letter is specific to your lender and it's going to allow us to negotiate and speak on your behalf and give us the authority to talk with your lender. So the authorization letter is step number one, paperwork piece number one. Number two, probably the most important, your hardship letter. Hardship letter needs to be simple, to the point, handwritten, and clearly explain what has happened with you and your family's household that's created any kind of financial crisis or hardship. Uh, this will be the picture that they use to apply to your family to decide whether or not to go ahead and award the short sale. Number three is financial statement. We're going to list and prove to the lender the amount of money coming in is not substantive enough to support the amount of money going out and maintain your current mortgage payments. Uh, in that financial statement, we're going to list all of your income versus all of your debt and it'll make a very clear picture in a format that's easy for a banker to understand what's happening in your financial life. Number uh, four is we're going to need, here comes the twos. Number four is going to be two months bank statements. Number five is going to be two months pay stubs. We want to show them how much money do you have on hand and what is your income each month. One won't do it, they'll need a minimum of two. Number six is going to be you know, the last two years tax returns. This will be uh, the final confirmation for your lender of uh, your financial picture. It will be proof, it will be documented, and it will match what you submit to the IRS and what's happening in your financial life. Uh, the last piece we'll need, of course, is your current mortgage statements. Which lender are we addressing? what's your monthly payments currently that statement once we get our authorization letter to talk on your behalf will also give us a clear picture on the uh, payoff payoff is different than the balance due because your payoff is going to include any fees any penalties any uh, money's going to the uh, attorney and, and let us know exactly down the dollar what's going to take to clear off this debt uh, it also includes your loan number and there will even be a barcode on your uh, coupon or mortgage statement that's going to allow us to process everything and file it all together. So those are going to be the seven components that you'll need to be prepared to bring to our office in order for us to begin the short sale process. So in review, number one, the authorization letter, number two, the hardship letter. Number three, your financial statement that you will complete. Number four, two months bank statements. Number five will be two months of your employer's pay stubs. Number six, two years tax returns. And number seven will be your current mortgage statement. And maybe you have two lenders. We'll require both of the lenders who are on the property, both of their statements. This is Sean Saylor, Meridian Realty, Saylor Associates. 770-719-9150. Thanks.